Hey creatives, Seb here. Today's video is going to be all about speed. I'm going to be sharing with you my top keyboard shortcuts so you can edit faster in Premiere Pro. Now trust me when I say that this video is going to absolutely change your editing workflow. There's some crazy, crazy keyboard shortcuts in here and by the end of it you're going to be editing so much faster. But just before we get started in this video, if you are new here, welcome. My name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content so if that does sound interesting to you then do consider hitting the subscribe button. But now now that we've gone out of the way, let's jump right into this video. Now I absolutely love that Premiere Pro gives us the ability to customize our keyboards and just in case you didn't know how to do so, all you have to do is go into the edit section and go under keyboard shortcuts. You can also see that I've customized my K button as opening up my keyboard shortcuts so I can access it a lot easier. Now as you can see here, you have all of your Premiere Pro shortcuts. This is my custom Premiere Pro shortcut list. So we're just going to go through it a little bit. I'm going to explain some of the best ones that I use. Now, right off the bat, it's going to be the Q, W, and E keyboard shortcuts. So we have the ripple trim previous edit, then we have the add edit, and the ripple trim next edit. So let me quickly demonstrate what this does. If I press Q on my keyboard right now, it's going to cut everything right here. If I press E, it'll do the exact same, but on the right side of the clip. And if I press W, then that's just going to slice up my clip just like that, so I can just keep cutting without getting my cursor tool out. Now a little bonus tip with the W key, I've also set it to control W, which is set to add edit to all. And what this does is if I've got all these clips right here, I want to cut them all in one go, I press control W and it's gonna cut them all in one go because they're all aligned. So those three keyboard shortcuts are absolutely essential. Once again, we have Q for ripple trim, then we have W for add edit and E for ripple trim next. Another cool one to go alongside with these three keyboard shortcuts is the ripple delete. So just for instance, if we deleted this clip right here and we click on the empty space and then we press D for ripple delete, it's going to automatically move everything to the next clip in front of it. Uh, we can also do the same thing with a clip that's just highlighted. Say I wanted to delete this completely, I press D and it's just going to completely remove it and then move the clips to the first clip in front of that. Next up, we have a really awesome keyboard shortcut. Now this is set as default by Premiere Pro. It's the up and down arrow keys. These are set to go to previous edit point and go to next edit point. So if I just press the down key, it's going to automatically move my cursor to the next clip, which is really, really awesome. And if I move it up, then it'll move it backwards which is really awesome. The next keyboard shortcut that I love to use all the time is a track selection tool. Now I've set this to one on my keyboard, but you can also find it on your toolbar right here. It's just this little icon. And if you click on one clip, for example, it'll highlight all of the following clips with it. And then you can just move them and then then you can insert another clip if you want to do so or add another segment. It's just a really easy way to select all your clips and then move them along in your timeline. Now the next tip you probably all know about and this is the minus and plus buttons. These allow you to zoom in and zoom out of your timelines. A little bonus tip, if you have macros on your mouse like I do right now, if I just press the buttons on the side, it allows me to zoom in and zoom out of my timeline. That's really awesome. And also bonus tip with this is if you press shift, and the plus or minus, it will also enlarge your timeline tracks. So if you wanted to have a wider scope on your timeline, you can just press the shift and minus button to do that. And if you wanna reset your tracks, you can just double click on them and it'll reset them back to default. Now I'm gonna do a quick speed run through a few keyboard shortcuts that I also love to use, but they're a bit self-explanatory, so we're just gonna speed run through it. So R is set to my rate tool, so if I want to expand a clip and make it slow down, then I just press R and then I can drag it, and if I make it shorter, it will then speed it up. Pressing I will set your in point, pressing O will set your out point. A little bonus tip with this, I've set X to select mark all clip. So if I click on this clip and then press X, it's gonna set the in and out points of that clip. I've also set my enter key to render in to out. So what this allows me to do, if I've got a heavy effects on one clip, I could press X on that and then I press enter and then it'll start rendering my clip so then it's completely smooth. Shift plus A creates a new adjustment layer for me so it's really easy to just drag that into the timeline. Shift plus T creates a new text layer. Control plus N creates a new sequence. Now here's some even cooler keyboard shortcuts that are really gonna help you out. Say you're editing on a 4K timeline and you drag in a 1080 clip, you'll see that the size of the clip is way too small. To fix this really easily, I've set it to Control B and this is gonna scale my clip to frame size so it's gonna make it 4K without me having to do any manual adjustments. Next is a really cool copy and paste 
trick. If you press Control C on your clip that has effects, and then you press Alt Control V, it will actually allow you to paste all of your effects within that clip straight onto your next clip. Another super cool one is if you hold Alt and then drag your clip, it will automatically duplicate it. Next up, if you press Control plus R, I've selected that to my clip speed slash duration. So I can change the speed of that, change the duration, reverse it, do whatever I want. A really handy one is the JKL keys. Now I've set that to my 234 on my keyboard. And all that allows me to do is play my clip, speed it up, put it in reverse, or slow it down and do whatever I want all on one side of the keyboard so I don't have to take my hand off my mouse. Another one is you maximize or restore to actual frame. So I've set this as my apostrophe key, that's the key right on top of tab, the little squiggly one. And what that'll do is actually maximize whatever you have selected. So I've got my timeline selected here, it maximizes that. If I want my program maximize, I'll just select it and press the apostrophe key. Same thing with clips, all of that. It's a really handy tool if you just wanna see everything in big. Now finally, before we get to the last shortcut, I would love to know what your favorite shortcuts are. Have I mentioned them in this video or do you have any other ones that you can recommend? Do let me know in the comments down below, but let's get on with the absolute last one and that is inserting clips without overriding stuff on your timeline timeline. If you wanted to move, for example, this clip right here to this section right here, what you'd usually do is just select them all, drag them, and then remove it, organize it, do all of that. And that just takes a whole load of time. What you can actually do is highlight your clip, hold control, and then just move it. And then what that'll do is just drag it and just reorganize your entire timeline and it'll place that clip in front of it. So if we wanted to move this clip to the front here without doing any other movements, just press control, and then drag it over there and it'll just move it to that place. So those are some of my top Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. If you wanna grab my keyboard shortcuts or you wanna download some free Premiere Pro presets, then I'll link those down below so you too can access them. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.